So we have to find the missing side. This is going to be an application of the Pythagorean theorem. Whenever you apply the Pythagorean theorem, make sure that you're working with confirm right angles, not just angles that look like right. They could be 80, 89 and a half for all we know. So look for this little right angle symbol. This here is a right uh, triangle. So the Pythagorean theorem will allow us to solve for one side given the other two. So let's just state as it is the Pythagorean theorem on, on this triangle. The x squared plus 15 squared equals to 17 squared. In the Pythagorean theorem, the number alone has to be the hypotenuse, that is the longest side, that is the one opposite the right angle. And now we solve for x, so oh, there are several things we need to discuss here. So <clears throat> let me show you what I'd like to see. So after we stated the equation, we need to solve for x. Now this is a quadratic equation. So quadratic equations are usually solved how? We reduce one side to zero, factor, and apply the zero product rule, right? So we have x squared plus 15 squared is 225 and 17 squared is 289. So we have x squared minus, and then when we subtract 289 minus 225, we get 64. Now we're gonna factor. We do not need to complete the square and we are ready for the difference of squares theorem. This is x squared minus eight squared so it will factor into a pair of conjugates as x plus 8 times x minus 8. And now applying the zero product rule, we get minus 8 and 8. That's the end of algebra. Algebra will spit out all the numbers for you that work. All the numbers that work algebraically, that is. Now that we're going to take the result 8 and negative 8 back to the context of our problem, which is that x represents a distance and therefore it cannot be a negative number negative 80 can be easily ruled out. Well, technically it works with the Pythagorean theorem, right? If you raise negative 8 to the second power, you get the same 64 as with plus 8. So the answer is 8 minus. Now, this is, this is what's going on. This is the official record. This is the one that I'm going to go and record with. Now, here is what I want to see. Oh. So we have x squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. Okay. Right, this is a quadratic equation, but it's a little bit simpler than the usual because if you, you probably have a hunch that if we subtract 225 from both sides, we get something like x squared equals 64. The worst thing that you can do is to say this equation has just one solution, x equals 8. No, it has two algebraic solutions, it's just we're, we're kicking out the negative one for the particular circumstances within the problem. This equation has two solutions. All you got to do is ask yourself, well, who squares 264? And the answer is 8 and negative 8. In my eyes, that's short for you start here, you subtract, you factor, you apply the zero product rule, right? That's clean. This is how we solve quadratic equations. But after a while, you will know that, oh, if x, x squared is 64, then it's plus minus 8. And when you know that, just go like this. What I want to see is that first you understand that this equation has two algebraic solutions, 8 and negative 8. And then this here would, would be short for this. So if you draw just an arrow from the solution set, you visibly rule out negative 8 and you circle the one answer that works, I will know that you understand that algebraically there are two solutions and then one is kicked out. Okay. And notice this is not a lot of writing. So you, you can do this much. So the answer is then 8 miles. Thank you for watching.